Okay, so, uh, but please lean on them for questions and help, and we're gonna we're gonna get them some support and information on it too. Morning, everybody. Chuck Birch's lawn here. It's uh, the thirty first. Aha! I knew that was gonna happen. It's the thirty first of January, and today I'm very excited. I'm going to be going to pick up some new equipment. Um, it's equipment I've never used. I. I don't even, other than saying I'm really excited for the opportunity to try all this, to use, not try this stuff out, to use this stuff, uh, it's my mind, so this is not a, it's not a video of somebody gave me some stuff to, to do some kind of review, it's nothing, uh, it's actually a prize I won from the, uh, GIE or the Equip Expo this year, and yeah, so I won this equipment. It's the uh, it's the battery powered equipment by Cress, and I won. I guess I won the grand prize. It's really funny. The uh, when I won it, they reached out to me. I thought it was a scam. So I reached out to some other people within the company. I, I so don't believe anything. I'm, I'm very skeptical. Is that skeptical? Yeah, I don't know, it just sounds odd. I might be saying that wrong. Um, anyway, I always think I'm getting scammed. Very, I'm cautious. Especially when they're like, hey, we need you to fill out this tax paperwork sign this press release and do this and do that and I'm like Look, how about I verify who you really are before I sign anything and so I talked to you know I, I I went to the company's main site emailed the company LinkedIn picked out different people within their LinkedIn emailed them and it was funny I, I'm sure I was annoying people I'm sure they were like, hey man, we're just trying to give you some stuff, and if you keep this up, we're, gonna, we're just going to go on down the list. But anyway, so I won it. Um, it was uh, $20,000 worth of equipment. So I'm really excited to, uh, to try this stuff out. They gave me a shopping list to kind of, they didn't choose what you know, they gave me a list of everything. Here, here's what you can pick from. Go shopping, and uh, that was that was very difficult for me. Uh, I I probably filled out three or four different shopping lists. Going well, maybe this. Uh, maybe this. Uh, maybe this. Couldn't make up my mind what I wanted because I don't know anything about the equipment. And I got on uh, YouTube and searched for press equipment and there was not that much going on because this is um, probably November when they contacted me. So not long after the, uh, after the expo and so I was trying to YouTube their equipment and see who had, different people had tried what. And, you know, a lot of the stuff you find was the homeowner stuff. And I'm looking at the commercial end of the stuff. Now it's cop crap. Now I'm starting to see more videos pop up, but now we're, we're past that. It doesn't matter if somebody showed a video and said, this is a piece of junk. It wouldn't matter if it was on my list. But I'm, you know, we're, we're there. And it, I got what I got. And I'm not going to complain about anything because it was a prize. I mean, I still have to pay taxes on the prize, but still, it was a prize. So, uh, anyway, just wanted to start the video with that. And it's raining like crazy today, so I'm not really sure how much video or pictures we'll get. Hopefully, there's opportunity to at least get something a 
you're picking the equipment up. Um, but if not, we'll uh, take a look at it. I'll probably take it all to my storage unit instead of my shop. Uh, during the winter, I use an off-site storage unit just to keep some stuff out of my way. So we'll see how this all shakes out. What I do, my shop's a freaking train wreck right now. And we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's, uh, let's go pick up some toys. So it's a, it's a little over 20 grand worth of equipment here. Right. And so we have a couple of them in stock if you decide you want to add them later. Yep. We got a lot of stock. And uh, they're going to be supporting the whole Tri Cities area. And uh, they're, they're just going to do a great job with it. Um, you know, the website's there. So here we go. We got three Chris 21 inch commercial mowers. It's raining like crazy today just now finally stopped a little bit a couple of chargers a trimmer an edger a hedger three backpack blowers three hand blowers a chainsaw inside this truck is a mess but we also got a couple of these guys that's all the all the chargers and blades and other goodies so today I'm just gonna I'm probably gonna keep a backpack blower and a hand blower and then I'm going to store everything else in my storage unit this is just what I use for the winter just to create a little extra space in my shop I didn't even bring as much stuff up over here as I normally do I just bring over Few of the mowers there's the aerator that'll be coming out here in a few weeks take my spray rig off the flatbed but since there's more room in here and i still need to clean my shop and get it ready for the season we're just going to uh, unload and put stuff in here So, if you've ever wondered what $20,000 worth of battery powered equipment looks like, there you go. So I got three backpacks, They're, they have the batteries on them, <clears throat> three hand blowers, an edger, a chainsaw, a hedge trimmer, a trimmer, and then three of the 21 inch push mowers and the batteries are on those, um, oh, as well as two chargers now I know some people are probably gonna say why didn't you get the cyber tank because it's it alone is ten thousand dollars and we probably will if we like this stuff get one because I like to set up one route that is nothing but a battery powered route uh, one guy 
all battery, no big mowers. It'd just be a push mow route. And see all that goes from there. Uh, you'll notice I got these are the commercial batteries. This is a prosumer battery, and I got both sizes of the prosumer battery, small and large. Uh, I wanted to try out as much different stuff as I possibly could and while still being able to get away from two cycle on the trucks uh, we're still going to have two cycle for the trimmers unless we really like that one I don't we'll see how it goes the blowers I'm pretty confident in so uh, that's why we went with three so now the we won't need gas on the truck for handheld or backpack blowers the biggest thing with blowers or with two cycle is no matter how easy you make it people can't mix two cycle properly to uh to stop it from fouling up it's just i don't know uh they, it can be blamed on the type of mix we use it can be blamed on the type of fuel we use it can be it's most of the time it's operator error and i'm not saying i'm perfect however this is there's no spark plugs no fuel no the batteries and all these batteries have six year warranties on them uh, so I I'm pretty happy with what I've chosen um, now we just need the weather to cooperate I'll get the backpacks and the hand blowers out later this week once the weather clears up for some cleanup action and see how they go but that's where we're at right now guys if there's a piece of equipment you'd like to see get used first or as soon as we can or one you're more interested than the other uh let me know and i can put together videos in that order i guess if i can so but that's where we're sitting right now thanks for checking it out